Hello everybody, welcome to Zebra Studio. My name is Molly, it's good to see you today. Don't forget to like and to share and to subscribe. Don't forget to like and to share and to subscribe. Right, what am I gonna be talking about or showing you today? Right, I'm gonna be talking about um, the African leaders hiding behind religion. They do that a lot. They know that most Africans are religious people and they will make sure they abuse their people. They hide behind religion. Some of, them, some of them have a lot of wives and they still call themselves Christians. And I'm not, you, you guys need to wake up. So yeah, African leaders hide behind um, religion. And if you look at their work and if you look at what they've done and what they're doing, they hide the crimes, they hide, they, um, by so doing, they sanitize the, great, the greatest crimes against humanity and they hide and you don't see their real evilness and how they, you know, you don't see it. People don't see how evil their leaders are. And politicians are very smart. They know their people. They know, not only, they know who to fool. So they go to the churches before the elections or when they've messed up and uh, they go there, they clap their hands and they start speaking in tongues and they start telling you about peace, yet they are killing you. I mean, what do you call this peace? If you look at your leaders, do they actually understand what peace is? They will go and talk about peace in church and they'll talk about God in church. They'll talk about Jesus. They'll talk about whatever religion that they no, that they, you know, every church that they visit, they visit every church, they go to the Muslim churches, they talk about their, their, their faith, they go to the, the Roman Catholics, they go everywhere just to get your votes. And you guys just give them the votes and you just fall asleep under the spell. You fall under the spell. Leaders are hiding behind religion. Look at what they have done to the African continent. Look at the wars, look at the crimes, look at the poverty. If these people, these so-called leaders were really leaders and were really Christians or politicians, or really what they say they are when they start praying in tongues and visiting these big churches. Guys, you need to look at this. <laughs> these, <laughs> you need to look at these leaders who run and go to church and look at the work, look at the, look at the end product. How many leaders in Africa call themselves Christians or I don't know what they call themselves. But look at what they do. <laughs> do you like what's happening? Do you like the poverty? Do you like the crime? The, you know, the, the crime against human rights and human beings? And then you forget. They go there before elections or whenever there's a problem and they start talking to the people about peace. African leaders playing psychology and messing up everybody and they go to church and they hide. They go to church and ask you to pray for them. Your African leaders want you to pray for them. <laughs> Your African leaders want you to elect them and to pray for them. So for development. Do you need prayer to build a house? Do you need prayer to stop corruption? Do you need prayer to build a school? Do you need prayer to stop killing people as a leader. What kind of prayers are these politicians asking their people to do in Africa? They ask people to pray, they're like, oh, can you pray for peace? And yet they're the ones who are causing the havoc and they're the ones who are not peaceful. And then you pray for development. What kind of development will you pray for? Do you need prayer for all those things? Or you need money and you need a good leadership or you need, you need so many good things. You don't, oh, no. prayer is okay, but there's so many things that you need. Right? The leaders, the religious leaders for praying for peace. <laughs> and then they'll kill everybody and they'll take everything and eat it with their family. African leaders. They will take everything. They'll ask you to pray. You pray and they will eat. Your president wants you to pray. Your king wants you to pray. And he will eat and enjoy everything. But you pray. Pray for a house. Pray for development. Pray for good roads. Pray for hospitals. You continue praying. That's what African leaders tell their people. They tell them to continue praying whilst they eat and enjoy everything. They, they're put there by God. That's what they say, they're put there by God. And they're like, let us pray 
for all of us. Those who won and those who lost. And let those who lost realize that there is no authority that can be established that God has not ordained. That's what they say, they are ordained by God. Your leaders are ordained by God. What type of God ordains such greedy people? What kind of God? Why are we voting? Because we are made in the image of God. So why do we vote for people like that? Let's just not vote. How about that? Let's not vote. And just leave it. Let nobody go and vote. Okay, I get it. They will force you guys. They'll, they'll get the police and the soldiers to go and get you out of the houses to vote. That's what they're going to do. <sighs> they hide in church. They go to churches and ask you to pray for peace. They manipulate everybody. African leaders. Your African leaders. Your leaders in Africa will ask you to join hands. They'll come up with crazy mottos like, this is what we're going to do. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And they'll ask you to join hands, Christian, Muslim, every, every religion, in order to build a good country. And then they sit down and they eat with their wives. They buy big, big cakes. They have private chefs. They go to Disney. They take their kids to private school. They live a very good life, lavish life. And they ask you, you to pray for them and then we, people pray for them 